Welcome to this chair yoga class. Let's find a sturdy chair and we'll get started. Sit up nice and tall in seated mountain pose, the shoulders over the hips, legs parallel, heels under your knees. Let's roll the shoulders forward, squeeze them up, press them back and down. Turn your palms up on your lap and close your eyes. Become present to the sounds in the room around you. your awareness closer in feel the weight of your body on the chair the air in your clothing against your skin envision the shape of your body where it is in space Bring your awareness inside and notice your breath. Notice where you feel the breath in your body. Do you feel the belly moving in and out? The ribs expanding and contracting. The collarbones moving apart and together. The back lengthening and flexing. Maybe you feel the breath somewhere else. Notice a part of your body that feels like it's full of breath, very lively and awake. Notice a part of your body that feels sluggish and not connected to your breath. With your imagination, can you expand the breath from that lively place towards that place to fill the area that feels less awake and alive? Feeling your breath filling you completely, waking up your whole body. And I'm going to scoot forward on my chair a little bit. And we're going to wake up the body with a spinal breathing. So, again, taking a moment to notice the breath. As you inhale, press your feet into the floor a little more and stretch up tall. As you exhale, feel everything relax without collapsing. Inhale, press into the floor and imagine your head is pressing into the ceiling. Exhale, soften without collapsing. Inhale, press and stretch. Exhale, soften. You can stay with that version or we're going to add some movement. As you inhale, we'll reach forward with the chest. Exhale, letting the head come down, we'll curl in. Roll up. Lift the chest, lift the chin, inhale. Exhale, reach forward, round in. Inhale, rolling up. 
Stretching up, exhaling, over. Imagine the breath coming up your spine, exhaling, releasing tension. One more. And come to stillness, let the breath circulate. Moving all the way to your toes, fingertips and top of your head. The nice tall spine will lower the chin to the chest and roll the ear to one side. Lower the chin and roll the ear the other way. Back to center. We're going to ramp that up if you would like. We're going to bring the hands together in prayer position with the fingers down and the hands behind our back. Now, if that's too much for you, you can grab elbows or just stay here or here. Okay, so again, if the hands are behind you, the palms are pointing down or grabbing your elbows. Feel how that brings the shoulder blades towards each other a little more. And inhale tall, lower the chin to the chest, roll the ear to one side, and then lift the chin, roll the ear the other way. So when we get to the back, it's just a gentle lift in the chin, don't crunch your neck. Keep some length there. Be mindful of how it feels. So reaching and cracking back there. Let's go the other way. Getting lots of crunchies in my neck in this one. hands, feel the energy in your neck and shoulders. And we'll do one more, inhaling tall. Let's look over the shoulder, soft gaze out into the distance. And we'll look the other way.
Come back to center. We're going to add to this one. Turn and look over your shoulder and then nod three times to your armpit. Come back up. Go the other way. Nod. And notice where the stretch is here. And back to center. Let's squeeze the facial muscles and stretch into lion face. And you can stretch your fingers too. I want to come forward a little bit. And then relax and squeeze. Inhale. Stretch. Relax and squeeze. Inhale, relax and squeeze, inhale, last one, and shake out your hands and arms. Bring the legs together. We'll come into an easy spinal twist. And back the other way, an easy spinal twist. Let's do one more set. Stay a little longer this time. And other side. And back to center. If you can't bring your arm up overhead, you could bring your hand to your heart. Let's bring one arm up overhead. Holding onto the chair, we come over to one side. Again, you can keep your hand here if this doesn't work for you. Come back to center, bring the other arm up and over, holding on to your chair. And back to center. Do some shoulder circles. Notice the connection of the breath to the movement of your shoulders. And circle the other way. Feel what's happening in your body. Let's walk the legs out and hold on to the chair, and we'll windshield wiper the knees. Feel the stretch in the front of your thigh. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg, back of your thigh. And let's toe heel back to center and scoot back in. Sitting up tall, you can tap your shoulders against the back of the chair. The further away you are on the seat of the chair from the back, the more challenged. The closer to the back of the chair, the less challenged. So you're sitting a little away from the back of the chair if you can. Shoulders tapping the chair. 
I'm going to bring one leg up and give that leg a hug without collapsing our spine. In fact, imagine your spine is pushing your chest forward to help you lift it. We're going to pull that knee out to one side. Bring the leg back to center and pull the knee across the other way. You feel a little pull on the outside of that leg. Back to center, bring that leg in. If it hurts your knee to hold the shin, hold the back of your leg. And we'll bring that leg down and just sit up to get a rest and shake those legs out. It's also helping our circulation. Okay, let's sit up tall and tap back. And bring that other leg in, holding behind the knee or in front. Shoulders are down, heart is lifted. Full deep breaths. And let's pull the knee out to one side. And bring the leg in and pull the knee in. And back to center, one more hug. And bring that leg down, sit up tall. And we'll wobble the knees. So we're gonna circle the ankle. You can have all of the foot on the floor or you can pick that ankle up, whatever's best for you. Circle the other way. And pick up the other one and circle. Again, you can just circle it on the floor or pick it up and circle it. And circle the other way. And you can point and flex both legs in the air or toes on the floor, heels on the floor whichever you prefer. If you're sitting up this way, you could again tap your shoulders back towards the chair. Keep the heart lifted. And down and take it in. I'm gonna to walk to the side of our chair. Sitting here, turning towards the leg that's closest to the chair. And you might end up just staying here and hanging out. Or the next level of challenge is to turn the knee down. So you're opening the front of that leg. And the next level of challenge is if you can, is to reach back and grab your ankle and pull your heel up towards your butt. So if you can't do this, just imagine it. No competition, right? You pick the level of challenge that your body can take today. And we'll put the foot back down on the floor if it was lifted, come back into our wide-legged pose, walk ourselves in, feel the difference in the two legs, and walk ourselves out. And again, maybe you're just sitting here looking over this knee, just sitting up tall and breathing and imagining this leg opening as far away from this leg as you can. 
Next level of challenge is to bring that knee down so there's a nice straight line towards the floor. Next level of challenge is to reach down, grab your ankle, and bring your heel against your butt. Or in that direction. Breathing into the intense stretch in the front of that thigh. And release the ankle if you're holding it. Bring that foot back in if it was on the floor. Toe heel, toe heel back to center. Sit back in your chair and notice how you feel. We're going to try some forward folds. So again, scooting forward. Send one leg out with the toes up. Take a deep breath in and reach over your straight leg, let your head go, draw your belly in and up. Inhale back up, send the other leg out. Inhale, tall, exhale, over. Inhale, back up, bring that leg in. Let's step the legs wide again, bring the hands to the knees. Do some cat and dog, inhale tall, exhale round back. Inhale, stretch up. Exhaling round. Inhaling, open. Inhale, tall. Let's bring one shoulder forward as we reach out over our right knee. Inhale, back up. Repeat. Do that stretch in your spine. Inhale, back up. One more, reach. And back to center. Take that in. Doesn't one side feel longer than the other? Inhale tall, reach the belly in and up. Stretch over your knee. Inhale back to center. Inhale tall, lifting the lower abdominals, reaching over the leg. Inhale back to center. One more reach. And back to center. You can stay with this variation going from side to side or inhale tall, supporting with your core, reaching over the leg then swinging around between your legs. And inhaling up. Reaching over the le leg, swinging around between your legs. Inhaling back up. Draw the belly in for support, reach over the leg, long spine, open chest, elbows back. Inhale up. Uh, 
and back to center. Toe heel, toe heel, back to seated mountain and take that in. You can scoot back on your chair if you like. We'll come into some sit to stands. Again, if it's not good for your arms to be in front of you, you can have your hands here. So let's scoot forward on our chair. We're up to seven, I believe. Remember to skip a set if you need to. If you can't do a sit to stand, just press into your feet, draw your belly in, lengthen your spine. Just try to lift yourself just an inch off your chair. Here we go. And one. Remember, you want your feet parallel, your knees over your heels, so they're not way back there. So your shins are nice and vertical. Inhale, two. Weight even on both feet. Inhale, three. Notice if you're tending to favor one leg or the other. And four. And five. And six. Doing good. And seven. And we're up. Come to Tadasana behind your chair. I'll stand next to mine. Close your eyes if you like. Feel the energy. Feel your body in space. So we're going to do. Okay. We're going to face the back of the chair. I'll face the side. And we're going to do some downward facing dogs and a variation on an upward facing dog. Real easy. Okay, so we're gonna walk the legs back with bent knees, reaching the arms, lifting the tailbone, ears between your hands. So it's a nice, easy variation of downward facing dog. Feel your spine lengthening, draw your belly in. Nice full breaths. And then slowly walk towards your chair. Get nice and close, elbows down, hugging the body. Inhale, lifting the chest, arcing back. So we've got a standing variation of cobra here. Elbows are in and parallel. Come back to Tadasana. Let's walk back with bent knees. Lift the tailbone. Draw the belly in. Reach the chest towards the floor, ears between your arms. Slide your shoulder blades down and flat onto your back. Nice, easy variation of downward facing dog. I hope you're liking it. And inhale, slowly walking yourself back to your chair. Get nice and close. Arms are parallel, elbows in. Shoulders down. I, that one I can do this way and still. Can you see anything that way? Tuck your tailbone, create length in the back of your spine. No pinch. And inhale tall. I'm going to come back around. I'd like you to come around to the seat of your chair. And we'll do some lunges. Okay, so if you can't reach the seat of your chair, you'll stay in the back. So getting close to the chair, we'll take the right leg and send it back into a lunge. We're gonna turn this into a revolve side angle. So keeping the right hand underneath your shoulder, bring the left hand to the hip crease and spin the body. Stay here or reach up.
bring that hand back down. We'll walk forward. We'll take a forward fold. And now I'm confused on the side, so I'm going to walk around to the other side, see if that'll help me. Okay, so if you if you can reach the seat of your chair, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you'll stay at the back. Sending the left leg back into a nice lunge here. Bring your right hand to your hip crease. Spin your body. So you're turning away from the hand that's on the chair. And if you like, reach up. So you're reaching from hand to hand, from top of head to back heel, and the knees are pulling towards the midline. Bring that hand down, slowly walk towards your chair, come into a forward fold, whatever level of forward fold your body can enjoy. We're going to have a little fun here. We're going to have a little challenge. So with the hands on the seat of the chair again, I'm going to send your left leg back into a lunge. So this time we're doing a side angle pose. This way, hand to the hip, spin the body. Okay. Roll the shoulder back. Again, you can stay here or reach up. Make sure you have a nice solid chair if you've got the kind of chair that if you put the hand on the back, the seat's gonna roll up. You wanna be sure you're closer to the front of your chair. So your shoulder over wrist, hips are parallel. And if you feel really confident, you can scoot forward and make this a balancing pose. I've got my knee against the arm of my chair. You might have your knee against the side of your chair or you might just stay in side angle. And come on back down, turn towards your chair, take a forward fold. Very slowly roll up. You can have your hands on your thighs or use the chair. Come back to Tadasana. And we'll do the other side. So hands on the seat of the chair. Step that leg back, front knee under your, over your heel. Bring your hand to the hip and spinning the body. So this time we're not twisting. Reach that arm up if you like, that works for you. Stay here, or if you feel encouraged to go forward, Bring that back leg in and then pick it up. And I've got my knee against the side of my chair to help as well. Only if this feels like a challenge that you like to take and if it feels safe, coming into Ardha Trinjasana, half moon balance. And bring that foot back down, turn towards your chair, forward fold. 
Slowly roll up, hands can use the chair or your thighs. Come back into Tadasana when you're ready. And let's come sit back down on our chair. Take a few breaths here to let the energy circulate. Body take in the benefits of what we've done so far. And scooting forward on our chair a little bit, we'll do some sun salutes. And again, if your arms don't go up overhead, just bring them, you know, shoulder height or to your heart. Okay, let's bring the hands to the heart and they can stay right there. Or inhale, maybe just shoulder height. Or back to your heart or overhead. And down. Inhale, scooping up earth energy, cosmic energy, bringing that energy down into your heart. One more. Feel the breath. Honor your shoulders. Take this into a half salute. Inhale. Forward fold, if that works for your body. Inhale, slide up. And exhale over. Inhale, sweep up. Hands to heart. Again, sweeping up might just be sweeping up halfway and then hands to heart. Inhale, reach up or stop halfway. And fold. Halfway up and over and all the way up again. Hands can stop at shoulder height and Anjali Mudra. I'm going to add a sweep to the side and fold. Half lift. And down. Let's reach one arm all the way out and up if that works for you. And down. And reach. And down. Inhale up. And down. Second set. Shoulders back, chest lifted, so the little back arc here, and a forward fold here, and a spinal twist here, and a spinal twist here, and inhale back up, and down. We'll add another spinal twist, inhale. And fold. Elbows in, shoulders back, chest lifted. Exhale over. Inhale, reach. All the way back up. 
hands to heart, shoulders down, inhale, twist. I like to do a pause there. Inhale, twist. Back to center. Inhale up. And fold. Half lift. And then sweep. Sweep. Come on back up. Anjali Mudra. This time the hands will go one way and the head will go the other. Back to center. Back to center. And rest. We'll end with a spinal twist. You can stay with an easy spinal twist. We'll do that one first. And back to center and change sides. And back to center, and you can stay there or coming out to the corner of your mat and dropping your knee. So if you can do the knee drop variation, if you're stuck in this variation, just do the first spinal twist. But if you can do the knee down variation, then this is a nice variation to go for. Inhale tall, grab the back of your chair and twist. Inhale back to center. Bring that leg up if you were doing the lunge. Coming around to the other side if you're doing the lunge variation. Whichever choice you've made, inhale tall and exhale twist. Inhale back to center and come back into your chair. Roll your shoulders back and down. Close your eyes or look downcast. Let your awareness travel through your body. Breathing into any place that feels tight or tense. And exhale the tension away.
you can stay here as long as you like. When you're ready, begin to bring some movement back into your body. Bring your hands together and rub them briskly. And cup them over the eyes. Blink the eyes gently. And release the hands, come back into the room. Namaste.